Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. Intelligent people tend to have less friends than the average person. The smarter you are, the more selective you become. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Of all things, I like books best. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. The present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked, is mine. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. If the genius of invention were to reveal tomorrow the secret of immortality, of eternal beauty and youth, for which all humanity is aching, the same inexorable agents which prevent a mass from changing suddenly its velocity would likewise resist the force of the new knowledge until time gradually modifies human thought. The gift of mental power comes from God, divine being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we become in tune with this great power. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His duty is to lay the foundation for those who are to come, and point the way. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction, or any other willful effort of the brain, is futile. Of all frictional resistances, the one that most retards human movement is ignorance, what Buddha called the greatest evil in the world. The friction which results from ignorance can be reduced only by the spread of knowledge and the unification of the heterogeneous elements of humanity. No effort could be better spent. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. My method is different. I do not rush into actual work. When I get a new idea, I start at once building it up in my imagination and make improvements and operate the device in my mind. When I have gone so far as to embody everything in my invention, every possible improvement I can think of, and when I see no fault anywhere, I put into concrete form the final product of my brain. There is no energy in matter other than that received from the environment. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Though free to think and act, we are held together, like the stars in the firmament with ticks inseparable. These ticks cannot be seen, but we can feel them. We may produce at will, from a sending station, an electrical effect in any particular region of the globe, we may determine the relative position or course of a moving object, such as a vessel at sea, the distance traversed by the same, or its speed. All peoples everywhere should have free energy sources. Electric power is everywhere present in unlimited quantities, and can drive the world's machinery without the need for coal, oil, or gas. The day will soon come when I will show the world that the transmission of power and speech without the aid of any wires is possible. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have a key to the universe. It is paradoxical yet true to say that the more we know, the more ignorant we become in the absolute sense, for it is only through enlightenment that we become conscious of our limitations. Precisely one of the most gratifying results of intellectual evolution is the continuous opening up of new and greater prospects. Misunderstandings are always caused by the inability 
of appreciating one another's point of view. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor, as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forgive food, sleep, friends, love, everything. We are whirling through endless space. With an inconceivable speed, all around everything is spinning, everything is moving, everywhere there is energy. The desire that guides me in all I do is the desire to harness the forces of nature the service of mankind. My belief is firm in a law of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion to the labor and sacrifices made. In the 21st century, the robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give. We are all one. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration.